Welcome to the in-between. In our game, Lost Souls must escape an Escher type maze and avoid going insane while being hunted down by eldritch monsters. This is a multiplayer game that incorporates AR and heart rate monitoring. Our game bridges the gap between new tech and traditional platforms by offering an asymmetrical AR and PC console experience. We have two teams as shown. Now the Overseer player uses augmented reality via a HoloLens, whilst the Lost Souls and Beast players play on PC and console. Check out our trailer. Is this it? Is this where we go when we die? Well, some go to heaven, some go to hell, and the rest end up here. There's something in the maze. It's after us! All right, let's have a look at the visual direction. So our game is set in a surreal Escher style maze featuring some Victorian mansions. On the left hand side we have some concept art and on the right hand side we have a set that we built in Unity. The Lost Souls are in a realm between life and death and the environment reflects that. Thus the maze has some familiar things to the Lost Souls world but they are now twisted and sinister. As the Lost Souls continue to lose their grip on reality this is mirrored by the maze devolving into madness. Now the concepts for the female and male characters are based on a 1920s style of dress. We have some 3D models generated for what the in-game characters could look like. The beast concepts were inspired by Lovecraftian lore and follow an anglerfish appearance. The concepts have evolved over time, so on the bottom left we have the final concept which the model is based on. Now let's look into some gameplay. In a realm between life and death, lost souls find themselves as unwitting contestants in an eldritch gods game. As your heart beats faster, you see more Escher-esque environments that reveal you to otherworldly terrors that pursue you at every turn. So the lost souls need to keep calm and navigate through the eerie Lovecraftian maze in order to avoid the beast. The lost souls need to find a portal to escape. Now players may end up having to sabotage one another because only the first one to escape wins. We wanted a game that is based on a physiological response. Therefore the heart rate is a key gameplay mechanic. Players may be linked to a heart rate sensor such as a Fitbit or a smartwatch. Biometrics is a great way for players to be immersed in gameplay. A player's heart rate changes what they see, so a higher heart rate distorts reality and lowers the player's sanity. As a result, walls and furniture can move all over the place, and hidden paths may end up being revealed. This also makes the player more visible to the beast, which makes it easier for them to be hunted down. Native to this realm, a blind beast who feeds off fear roams the dark passages of the maze. The beast uses echolocation and heartbeat tracking in order to locate its prey. Guided by its overseer master, the beast locates lost souls, drains their sanity, which makes their souls ripe for the harvesting. The malevolent overseer of this realm keeps an eye on his maze from high up in the sky. He has the ability to alter maze passageways and rooms to his liking. As he directs his beast to devour the lost souls one by one, his power over the maze grows. So the overseer is able to set up traps, move rooms, slam doors and use other tactics in order to scare the lost souls. Thus delaying their escape and guiding the beast towards them. So why should you choose the in-between? Our game offers a unique Escher type maze environment. We have a fun evolving type of gameplay where the environment responds to the player's physiological state through heart rate monitoring. The game also allows for crossplay between new tech and traditional platforms. And finally our project can be scaled to include more characters as well as different beasts, locations and traps. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, feel free to hit us up.